Hi, I'm Ramona Wurst, and from my Vietnamese kitchen today, I will be preparing for you a steamed clam in a ginger broth. This is very, very good. These are East Coast Cout Neck Clams, and I have gotten them from Groomer Seafood in San Antonio. He provides me with the freshest seafood ever. I will bet you that every single one of these clams will open, and that tells you how fresh these clams are. I've made several other dishes on the Real Texas blog and Ramona's Basil Garden, and now we're coming to the Vietnamese uh, blog to make a wonderful, delicious dish. Last night, I went ahead and prepared my chicken broth, and I've refrigerated it and removed the fat from the top. I've also prepared my fresh bamboo shoots yesterday, and you can see how I do this uh, on this blog. I'll go ahead and provide a link. These taste so wonderful. It's different than when you open up a can and it kind of tastes like a piece of bamboo wood. Well, these add a lot of little flavor to your broths. I've heated my coconut oil, and now I'm going to add my minced shallots. minced garlic and my minced fresh ginger. We're going to saute this until my shallots are translucent. Now while I'm cooking you may hear a cat meow, a dog barking, a duck quacking. We live in the country so you never do know what visitors I'll have making all kinds of noises. This is now fragrant. It smells wonderful. We're going to add our rose wine. Now this has got a picture of a rose on it, and it really is rose wine. It's made with rose juice, uh, some wine, and rock candy to sweeten it a little bit. Don't mix this up with rice wine. It is rose wine, and you can get this uh, at any Asian market, uh, possibly even at a liquor store. But what it does is it's going to actually uh, add just a little bit of a sweet aroma and a sweet different taste using the rose, and it's really good. I'm going to bring this to a boil and um, reduce it just a little bit. What we're doing is fusing in the flavors. Whenever you're cooking, you'll want to be fusing in different flavors, and you'll get such, such wonderful flavor. I don't use a lot of uh, pre-made spices because I have found that when you use fresh spices and with the mixture and how you prepare them, it will bring out different flavors than a one-note flavor in your cooking. So I use all fresh herbs. Once in a while I'll use a little pinch of this or that, but not very often. You'll see me just going to fresh herbs. Another ingredient you'll find that I used was coconut oil. And coconut oil smells really wonderful, and it doesn't add a strong coconut flavor. It just adds just a little bit of a different flavor whenever you're sauteing in your shallots and garlic. I'm now adding my sweet soy sauce, and I have made my sweet soy sauce from scratch, and you can also find the recipe on my blog. We're adding the fish sauce and we're adding all of our homemade chicken broth. The way I make my homemade chicken stock is I actually take the carcass from my roasted chicken, put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, and then I save it uh, for a later use. What I do is I'll take that out, put it in some water, put a little celery, salt, pepper, onion, a little jalapeno, and then bring it to a boil then reduce it to a simmering boil and let it boil for a few hours. That way you're actually drawing in all of that broth from that little chicken. Then I go ahead and take out everything, strain it all, and then put it in the refrigerator overnight and then it, you'll see that it gets a little fat uh, build up on the top. You just scoop that out and throw it away. Then you've got chicken stock. You can also prepare your chicken stock Take it to the state of after you've refrigerated it, remove the um, fat, you can actually put it in containers and freeze it. So then that way you've always got it on hand when you're ready to cook. 
I usually put it in one to two cup increments in the freezer and then that way that's usually what it calls for in all my recipes. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to boil it for about five minutes. We've boiled our chicken broth with our other ingredients for about five minutes. I'm going to add in my bamboo shoots, my mushrooms, my bok choy, and we're going to bring this to a boil again. We've brought our broth back to a boil. I'm going to add the clams. I have purged these clams just by running them under water and scrubbing them off, making sure all the grit is off the shell. We're going to now keep this at a simmering boil, cover it for 10 minutes. When we come back and stir the clams, you'll notice that they've all opened up. Also, what it's doing is it's cooking our vegetables. So this is why we didn't want to totally cook our vegetables. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes and we'll look at all of our opened up clams. While I've got my clams steaming, I'm preparing my rice noodles. Now these rice noodles you can get at your Asian market and you can get them in the freezer section. Use what you want to and then just seal the bag and refreeze them. All you do, you're not cooking them, you're just using very, very hot tap water and just kind of softening them up. When we pour the hot broth over them, that'll actually cook them really quickly. You don't want to put these in boiling water because they will just sog out right away. So while we've got our clams steaming, we're also softening up our rice noodles. Our broth is ready and the clams have all opened up. Now the way you can tell that you've gotten really a fresh batch of clams is that they'll all open up. Now if you have any clams that have not opened up, you want to make sure that you discard them right away because they're not going to be very good for you at all. I've got my rice noodles now drained. I'm going to put a piece of bok choy in and I'm going to grab some bamboo shoots and mushrooms and then I'm going to put the star of the show, my opened clams, on top. And then I'm going to dip in some broth and pour that over this dish. And there you have it. I'm Ramona Wurst and from my Vietnamese kitchen, I have prepared a Vietnamese broth for you. This is my steamed clams in a ginger broth.